So in this video here, we're going to go through the Segformer uh, paper. This is basically like combining transformers and uh, lightweight multilayer perception decoders, which can actually like, be used for segmentation tasks because we have these um, attention maps in our transformers. So we use the attention mechanism to learn what to pay attention to in the images. And then we can utilize that for these segmentation maps with the transformers. So again, Segformers, a simple, efficient, yet powerful semantic segmentation framework with unified transformers with lightweight multilayer perception decoders. Again, we're going to see some really nice results um, at the end, this is state of the art for act like when we're comparing efficiency, um, accuracy, and also the number of parameters that we have. So Segformers here, they compromise structure transform encoders, which outputs multi-scale features. So we actually have multi-scale features, both on like a coarse uh, level and also like a fine level, as we're going to see when we're going to look at the architecture. One of the good things about this Segformer is that it, it does not need positional encoding. So we don't need to do any positional encoding as we do in the VIT model and just in the standard transformer. Uh, the Segformer here also avoid complex decoders. So we're only using uh, the encoders of the transformer architecture and then we use these lightweight multi-layer perception um, decoders. Again, Segformer before here, again, this is a state-of-the-art model. Segformer before achieves 50.3% mean in section over union on the ADE 20K uh, data set with 64 million parameters being five times smaller and 2.2 percent better than the previous best methods and all those methods are act like really um, really large so we have a large number of parameters down here we can actually like just see the different kind of like comparisons that they made so we have the sec former over to the left we can basically just go in here i'll just make a drawing uh, so we're just going to take the tool we have the sec former over here so this is basically like a really cool model. We don't have that many parameters and we still have really high mean intersection over union when we're comparing with the other state of the art models, which, which is twins, twin transformers and SETR. SETR here has a lot of parameters. It's over like 300 million parameters. And this like form architecture here even performs better just with like, uh, even like with the B3 sig form model, it does uh, act like perform better than the SETR. And we have like under 100 parameters for all the sig former models. We can see the, uh, the, the comparisons down at the bottom. Um, here we can see we can even run like 50 frames per second with the sig former B0 model, which we're going to use um, as well. I'm going to show you how we can actually like, do that here in the course. So we have the sig former, we can run like, we can even run like real time application 24.5 frames per second with the B2 model. So this model runs really fast and we get really high accuracy for our segmentation task. So this is basically just a comparison of like performance versus model efficiency on the ADE 20K data set, which is like standard data set for uh, benchmarking within segmentation tasks. So here again, we can see that we have this, um, we have this VIT for uh, image uh, classifier. It's not really using the same approach and we don't have this positional encoding. Uh, so we just have these different kind of models, which is act like just related work. And now they're using this sec former to get better results and actually like just make it more simple. So we have VIT, we have SRTR and all those different kind of things. Like here we can see some of the different kind of like disadvantages of those models and what this paper actually like tries to, um, to do. So this paper introduces Sigformer, a cutting edge transformer network for semantic segmentation that jointly considers efficiency, accuracy, and robustness. Uh, in contrast to previous methods, our framework redesigns both the encoder and the decoder. So again, a novel positional encoding free and hierarchical transformer encoder. So these are like the benefits of this Sigformer model, which makes it state of the art with less parameters and also um, a better accuracy. So we have this lightweight all MNP decoder design. So again, we're not using any transformer. We're not using any uh, decoder blocks. We basically just have MLP in the decoder and it's also lightweight so we can run it in real time applications. Um, here we can also see that we have the new state of the art in terms of efficiency, accuracy, and so on, as we just went over in uh, the figure. So here we can basically see that this hierarchical part enables to the encoder to generate both high resolution fine features and low resolution core features, as we're going to see when we're going to look at the architecture. This is in contrast to VAT that can only produce single low resolution feature maps. So again, we both have this um, we basically just have these both high resolution fine features and the low resolution core features. And then we basically just throw that into our lightweight MLP decoder at the end. 
So we want to take advantage of the transforming and in, in induced features where the attention of lower layers tend to stay local, whereas the ones of the higher layers are highly non-local. So we both want to find like attentions in lower layers, but also more on like a general um, like a general level where we go into like high level. So we want to know what to pay attention to in our images. And that is why it's really good for performing these segmentation tasks because segmentation is basically just like distinguish between different cl different classes in the image, find uh, and then also make really high accuracy on that. Here we see the architecture. So again, we have the architecture. We have our encoder and the decoder. Again, there's no transformer blocks in the decoder. We only have like this MLP task. Here we can see the different kind of like features. So we have like the more uh, multi-level, we have the multi-level features. So we basically just have our um, OLAP patch embeddings here. So we basically just have all the patches as we do in VIT, but we don't need any positional encoding. We have a transformer block here. One, we can see what it consists of. We can basically just do that for all the other blocks as well. But then we also actually just we first of all we just have these course features at the at, at the start. So all of these blocks here are basically like the different kind of like features um, in our transformers or like in the encoders. Then we can take those out, feed them through to this MLP layer at the end for our decoder before we actually like going to do predictions on our class. So basically here we just go from core features to find features. So at the end here we have all like the finest features in our images. What do we actually like want to pay attention to? So this is basically what they mean by this hierarchical multi-level features from the encoder. So we basically just have a hierarchy going from um, core features to find features. But we take all the features and throw them into our decoder here in our MLP layer. So this is what we're doing here. So basically just take all the features from both like local attention uh, local attentions and also global attentions. We take all the features, throw it into our MLP layer. Then we do some upsampling and so on. And then we basically have our decoder. So we have our upsample features at the end here. So this is what we have in these layers. So these are our upsample features. We pass that through a final MLP layer here before we can actually like do our predictions. So again, we have our MLP to fuse features and do predictions. So we actually create this prediction mask at the end here. So this will be our segmentation mask at the end in green. Then we basically just have the height and the width divided by four times the number of classes we actually want to segment out. So let's say that we actually we just want to segment out three different kind of like objects. Then we have a height and width divided by four times n, which in this case will be three. And then we can basically just create a segmentation mask like that overlaid on our image. And then we can see our segmentation predictions. So the, again, this is a really simple architecture. We just have an encoder, decoder, finding these hierarchical features. We throw those features into a lightweight MLP layer, we fuse all the features, and then we create a prediction mask at the end. So again, a really simple architecture here of a neural network. We're going to see how we can actually train this as well. Um, I have this course where we basically just go through it all. We can also see that, like how this can be used as a transformer backbone in general. They compare it here to VIT, how, how the different kind of like architectures is different. How does it do on a different kind of like task for specific tasks, both for uh, classification, segmentation and so on. So here we have this pyramid structure in transformers, potential pure transformer backbones compared to CNN. So right now we, we mostly like using CNNs as the backbones for a computer vision task. But now we act like we, now we act like start to move over to these transformers as the backbone, as we can see here. And then they act like just have these different kind of like methods as swin, CVT, code, uh, leave, it, leave VIT and so on. And also the twins transformers. Um, so basically here we can just see that these enhance the local continuity of features and remove fixed size position embeddings to improve the performance of transformers in dense prediction tasks, which is basically like segmentations. We can also use it for like transformers for specific tasks. They make basically just do these comparisons to all the different kind of models. However, these transformer based methods have very low efficiency and thus the difficult to deploy in real time applications. But they actually like tackle this problem with the segformer. They create this really nice simple uh, structure with our encoder and then our full MLP decoder at the end. So we can actually like create these real time applications compared to all the other different kind of like transformer methods which we're using DITR, VIT, SETR, and so on. All these different kind of like methods they can run in real time, but they tackle the problem here with the segformer. So that's really good. 
You can read about the method here. It's basically just describing what I already went over with the different kind of like feature levels where we go from like core features to defined features. They talk about this hierarchical transformer encoder. They basically just have this on text that I've just set. They also show like how to actually like calculate this attention mechanism, uh, efficient like self attention layer where we just have like our soft Mac, uh, soft max and so on to, to learn what to pay attention to in our neural network. Then we have a lightweight uh, MLP decoder. So this shows some examples of that relationships to CRTR. So they basically just compare to that. We also can see some experiments that they have done. So we want to really cover that. They also have the results here, but uh, the best things to actually look at is just the graph and the figure that I showed you in the start. These are basically just like numbers, how to compare them to uh, different kind of like models, both the sizes, the accuracies and so on. Uh, so these are basically just like all the tables for the comparison that they have done. We can see the results down at the bottom. So they basically just compared where we see with the sec former. So it's basically just like way better to distinguish between different kind of classes here. I'm just going to zoom in. We can just see it just zooms in on this uh, bicycle like guy on, on the bicycle. We can just see the really uh, nice distinguish between the classes. So we can see here in red. We can also see at the tree here. So all the leaves on the tree is just a perfectly predicted with this sec former where if we look at this SITR, we still have um, we still don't get as good as uh, accuracy as the sec former. But we still get really good accuracy. But again, uh, these other models here, they have a lot of parameters compared to the sec former where the sec former, we both get better accuracy and we also get way less parameters. So we're able to run in real time. So again, basically just use the sec former. It is state of the art model. You get the best performance and you can also run them in real time because they have less parameters. Just here we can see the comparisons. So for example, like deep, deep, deep lab we free way better results and it can run way faster. So the conclusion here at the end to end off this video is basically just in this paper, we present sec former again, as I've said many times, a simple, clean, yet powerful segmentation, uh, semantic segmentation method, which contains a positional encoding free. So you don't need to do any positional encoding. It doesn't really care about that. Uh, so that is also one of the advantages of this sec former. This is a, a hierarchical transformer encoder and a lightweight all MLP decoder for actually like creating these segmentation masks for all the classes that we want to train our model on. Sigformer not only achieves new state-of-the-art results on common data set, but also shows strong zero-shot robustness. So we can actually create these models here and we can actually use pre trained models of this Sigformer. And then we can basically just do zero-shot or like few-shot learning on our own data set, which we're going to do in the course. So this is a really cool model. I'm really excited for it and we're going to get some really nice results. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification on that video. Like this video here if you like the content and you want more of these like walkthroughs of the different kind of like papers, talk about the architecture. Maybe we'll act like in some of the videos, go over um, how we can uh, implement these architectures from scratch in PyTorch and so on. But from this video here, I have a course where we act like covering everything about transactional formers. How, how they work under your hood, how we can act like uh, train them uh, to create our own data set, train them in PyTorch, how we can deploy them as well, because we're going to get some really nice results. The best thing about the course is that we're actually like going to deploy it with Python in OpenCV and also use PyTorch. And then we're going to see some really nice results. So it's basically deployment with a live camera in Python. So that's a cool thing about the course. Definitely enroll if you're interested or else on the CNX, guys. Bye for now.